A very good afternoon team Zimbabwe and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this afternoon, let us talk about the regime panicking. So Jonathan Moyo is now part of the strategic uh, department or a committee, committee of Team ZANU-PF. He has joined the strategic committee and is leading a lot of people. Uh, we, we include Vana, Vana Edmund Kudzai, we include Vana Opo Chungono, um, and, and so forth. He's, is there is the propaganda chief of propaganda within that strategic uh, grouping so their duty is to make sure that information which goes to the public is only propaganda their duty is to attack the credible opposition in zimbabwe probably no so as to sponsor a narrative that no so is failing that no so is not capable to take over from Emerson Mnangaku. That is their key agenda, or main agenda. So what is happening is there are so many social media outlets there on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. These are platforms which are used by so many Zimbabweans, and especially including WhatsApp. So if you go to, 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 to WhatsApp, there are so many news outlets there. Go to Facebook, go to YouTube, everywhere. If you need news, you no longer need to tune into ZTV. You no longer need to tune in to, to, to radio. You need to tune in onto social media and you will get credible news. And this is disturbing people like Jonathan Moy. Why? It's because his propaganda is challenged there and there. He's challenged there and there. They don't even wait for, for a day or two to challenge him. They challenge him, ipapo, ipapo, konapo, konapo. And Jonathan Moyo has said, Zim News outlets should not confuse this, their sponsored opinions for news. Who is sponsoring them? For example, personally, I don't have a sponsor. I'm sponsoring everything. Taking money from my business, making sure that we run these shows on daily basis. What we get from YouTube um, does not pay the bills. So we, we, we use our resources to, to, to make sure that we, 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 we run these programs. We are not being sponsored by anybody, but we are there to dispel fake news. We are there to dispel propaganda. We are there to, 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 to actually stop the fight against the democratic opposition. So he's saying news is, is or ought to be evidence-driven and evidence-based to enable its audiences to make their own evidence-based opinions and must therefore be verifiable to establish its factual basis. It's verifiable that Jonathan Moyo is working for ZANU-PF, that Jonathan Moyo is working with Tim Shavango, because whatever Jonathan Moyo says, you see, you hear Tim Chavango saying it. You hear the spokespersons of Triple C Chavango saying it. You will see Zanu PF supporting whatever Jonathan Moyo is saying. Right now, Jonathan Moyo is writing this article against social media platforms. We have heard the Minister of Information speaking against the same. Why? It's because these people they have seen that their fight is failing because of social media, which is telling the world the truth, telling the people the truth. So personally, as for me, I'm not into news. I'm an analyst. I'm into political analyst, uh, analysis activities. This is what I do. I'm a politician. And as a politician, I, 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 I do analysis of political situations. And these political situations are there. The economic quagmire in Zimbabwe is there for everyone to witness, which means whatever we will be talking about is something which is happening. And there are so many analysts who are coming left, right, and center. Others decide to analyze what is happening in politics. Others decide to uh, analyze what is happening in other sectors and others who have to cover each and every sector. Personally, I made a decision to focus that this of social, on social media to say whatever they want without evidence, but they don't want other people 
to come and challenge them or to say whatever they want using their own evidence. They don't want. That is the reason why they are scared. So this is what is happening. Don't think about anything else. These are people who are dri driven by their tummies and their, by, 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 by their stomachs and the hatred for those who miss. Social media is giving them sleepless nights. Just imagine if Jonathan Moy was writing my sentence, my sentence, my page, my page, and was not challenged. Just imagine if Obo Ochungon was not challenged. Just, just imagine all this propaganda which is being spread by the NPF, if, if it was not challenged, what would be the, what would be happening? It's true, Kuti Muzimbabwe Munum Amuna Ma radiotherapy machines. Where are they? It's true. We have an example. Yao T Mavi Arugarati Chema Pam Surupim Pepano Kurama ne albinism. Kuti they are failing to get treatment. That is a fact. It's true that in Zimbabwe we don't have roads. Where are the roads? Can you compare the roads in Zimbabwe in South Africa, Zimbabwe in Zambia, and other countries? No, you can't. They, they don't even match the standards of other countries. It's a fact that in Zimbabwe, for calf games, it's a fact. Go to Rufaro, it's not working. Go to the National Sports Stadium, it's not working. The Zimbabwe national team went to play in Rwanda for its national game, a home match. That is a fact. So when this was in, uh, to get elected into office in the past election, is it true it was happening? Fuzz was there. There is evidence, enough evidence to suggest that. It was never reported on ZBC, but it was reported on these outlets which are being attacked by Jonathan Moy. It's true that no Sunchamisa is being fought left, right, and center, including Jonathan Moy. It's a fact. Jonathan Moy, if you go to his Twitter endo every day, it does not mean miss. To say Chamisa this, Chamisa that, Chamisa this, Chamisa that. Chamisa left the triple C, but Jonathan Moyo is still after Nelson Chamisa day in, day out. It's because it's not about the party triple C, it's about Nelson Chamisa the person. Right now they are fighting him, trying to make sure that they leave him bankrupt and nothing. What is their intention? They are, their intention is to make sure that they take every cent and every dollar from Nelson Chamisa. You have to be in court day in, day out. court. Now, they want Nelson Chamisa to be in and out of the courts. Criminally, they know for sure that it would be something else. It would be difficult for them to, 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 to use criminal methods. Right now, they are using civil methods. To make sure that he is in and out of the courts each and every time and each and every day. That is a fact. These are things which are happening right on the ground. So you you, you cannot tell us, Kuti, is this a propaganda? There's NPF. No, we will not bow down to that pressure. We will not run NPF propaganda. We will tell the world the truth. We will tell the people the truth. If these are facts. These are facts. We die knowing that our questions are clear. So this is what is happening in Zimbabwe. Jonathan Moyo is hell-bent to make sure that he fights Advocate Nelson Chamisa in this team left, right, and center. So we'll continue to watch and see. Are they going to win? I doubt.